गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर कीपिंग योर सेल्फ हेल्दी इन दिस पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर देयर इन द वीडियो सेशन सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज व्हाई डू वी फॉल इल सो रिगार्डिंग दिस चैप्टर आई टेल यू दैट हेयर आल्सो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द हेल्थ द डिजीजेज द टाइप ऑफ डिजीजेज द डिजीजेज कॉज्ड बाय द वायरसेस और द बैक्टीरियाज और डिफरेंट माइक्रोब्स दैट कॉज द डिजीजेज so let's start the chapter that is why do we fall ill so how can we say that a person is healthy or disease so a person can said to be a healthy or being well if one shows number 1 absence of any infection means the person should not have any type of infection whether it is the bacterial or viral or any other microbes so disease that is caused by the microbes should not be there in the healthy person's body now next is the absence of physical deformity deformity means the any type of deformity in the body part should not be there next is that the absence of any hereditary defect hereditary defect means the disease which we get from our parents or we can say the disease that transfer from one generation to the another gener generation so this type of hereditary defect should not be there in the healthy person now next is the absence of imbalanced diet means if the person is not taking the proper diet means the balanced diet then the person may get some of the nutritional deficiency disease so a healthy person should take the balanced diet next is the complete physical fitness should be there absence of mental problem should be there in the healthy person freedom from the psychological tension no such tension should be there next is the absence of social tension means no other means any type of tension should not be there and the per person should have the purposeful living next is the health so according to the who health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being that enables one to lead a socially and economically productive life now what is the importance of this health means why do we need a health or a per, why should a person need a good health so first is that the good health increases our efficiency for doing work so you can compare that a diseased person will unable to do the work or the efficiency will be less than the healthy person so a good health increases our efficiency for doing work next is the increased efficiency of a human due to good health contribute to one's own progress so if a healthy person do his or her work properly then obviously the person will have the progress and ultimately the progress of the community and the nation will be there when all the person will be healthy you must have noticed during the lockdown all the factories or all the railways all were shut down so that was the loss of the loss of the nation or as well as the loss of the person as well those who are means the daily wagers they are having the loss of per day whatever they were getting so there was the loss of the income also so in turn we can say if the whole nation will have the disease or maximum number of the disease person will be there then the community and the nation will not develop a live example you have seen just now next is that it allows a person to have the initiative for the betterment so a healthy person can only think about the betterment of himself or the herself next is that it makes living a joyful experience you can notice that whenever you get sick for one or two day you don't feel joyful you don't want to play even the study also so a healthy person will have the joyful experience next is that the good health is a condition for our purposeful existence in this world now next is the difference between the healthy and the disease free how can you say that the person is disease free or a person is healthy so healthy is a state of complete physical mental and social well being whereas disease free means the state of absence of discomfort or derangement in any part of the body in healthy person it depends upon the individual as well as the physical and social environment whereas the disease free is related to the individual only next in healthy a healthy person will be disease free as well whereas the disease free means the person can be healthy or unhealthy 
नेक्स्ट इज द पर्सन इज इनर्जेटिक एंड एबल टू परफॉर्म एज पर रिक्वायरमेंट अ हेल्दी पर्सन कैन हैव द और द हेल्दी पर्सन इज एनर्जेटिक टू कंप्लीट हिज वर्क वेयर एज द डिजीज फ्री पर्सन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द इन्वायरमेंटल एंड द पर्सनल एटीट्यूड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सिम्टम्स एंड साइन सिम्टम्स मीन्स इट इंडिकेट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ disease whereas the sign provide the information about the presence of particular disease in the body now symptoms are collective manifestation of a number of disease of particular part or organ whereas the sign are distinct for the different diseases so children that's all for today uh, i hope uh, now onwards you will complete your work because earlier i have seen that many of you are not writing the homework so please complete your work any day i can ask you to show the copy in the online classes so homework write down the difference between the healthy and the disease person thank you